everybody. It is Wednesday evening and I'm so tired. <laughs> I think actually I'm hungry, but I just feel tired. Um, so I ate rice and beans again today and I'll eat rice and beans tomorrow and rice and beans Friday and I'm really sick of rice and beans. Um, but that's what I'm stuck with for the end of the week. Um, Saturday I'm going to eat just a plate full of vegetables. I'm just craving vegetables. And last night I actually dreamed, I don't remember what, but what I bought, but I dreamed I was at the grocery store buying some kind of a snack. So my hunger's even invading my dreams. But three days down, so yay. Um, I got really good news today though that um, one of my poems was published, so that's exciting. Um, and even though it's, you know, kind of shameless self-promotion, I'm going to read one of my poems in my video tonight. Um, this um, particular poem, um, it's entitled Entanglement, and that's, um, I mean, my understanding of that term is um, that it's in physics that if you have entwined particles and you separate them and fling them apart, you know, even to the edges of the universe, if the universe has edges, <laughs> Um, they will still respond to each other. It's like they're still connected even though they're they're an uncountable distance apart. Um, and um, I had some images sitting in my notebook for like five years about um, the love sculpture. Um, you know, it's got the L-O on top and the V-E on the bottom. It's famous. It's everywhere. But um, it was originally a print, I'm pretty sure. Um, the artist, Robert Indiana, he's the one who created that. But I believe the original sculpture that he created is the one that sits here um, in Indianapolis at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. So it was one day I just stood in front of it for a long time and just wrote down a bunch of images. And it just sat there and I didn't do anything with it. And then I saw, um, and then I saw a movie called Only Lovers Left Alive, which I recommend. It's beautiful. Um, and entanglement was talked about in that movie. So then all of a sudden I thought, oh, that's irresistible to put entanglement together with love. And, um, and so this poem um, came out of those kind of separate, separate um, things. And, um, and it basically ended up being a poem about being separated from what you love. And I thought that was appropriate to read um, while I'm trying to raise money for refugees because refugees are separated from what they love, you know, their homes, their countries, sometimes even their families. So here's my poem. It's, um, it's not that long. And... Um, Two more days to go, and hopefully I'll be um, more awake tomorrow, but I wouldn't count on it. All right, here's my poem, Entanglement. Late March leans into the yearning body of spring, but this day still the kitchen smell of substantial soups like bean and potato with rosemary. I stand at sunrise in front of the original rough orange metal in Indiana. L like a sentry, O slanted to the right like a screw asking to be tightened, V a spade ready to dig, E a crown on its side. The letters bleed rust down white concrete, signs say no climbing below muddy sneaker prints. On days like this, old leaves gust across sidewalks, they click like a woman in heels after a stumble. At home, my garage sale writing desk boasts 70s psychedelic love contact paper. In our kitchen, tea with sugar and milk tastes like your childhood. You tell me London's is painted red, blue on the sides and in the holes, black base, busy street, you at noon. So our sun can fold its hands under my morning heart and lift me to you. There, we make a meal out of aching air. Good night, everybody. Have a good one.